When Bill Miller experienced heat exhaustion two years ago, he didn't recognize the symptoms. It felt like somebody injected me with poison or something and it just got real sick. Today, Miller can be found working on this construction site, but he's definitely not lacking hydration. The president of Continental Buildings, Todd Alexander, is teaching his team how to keep cool in the summer. You know, we'll give them a safety talk that will talk about the indications of heat-related stress, how to recognize it, and then how to prevent it, and how to take uh, frequent breaks throughout the day and make sure that they stay hydrated. June is National Safety Month, and the Ohio Bureau of Workers' Compensation is working throughout Ohio to beat the heat. As temperatures rise over the summer months, there's a big concern for construction workers that are outside all day. It's necessary for them to drink lots of water and stay cool. OBW's Division of Highway and Safety's Abe Terrowin says different steps are being taken to keep outdoor workers safe. With this campaign, we're handing out small cards that give warning signs for heat exhaustion and heat stroke. The card lists three simple steps to avoid overheating. Hydrate, cover up, and rest. Reporting in Hilliard for NBC4, I'm Kelsey Hope. No, I wouldn't cut it around anybody.